Hello my fellow admins and welcome to another episode of Jira Guides. Void.admin here and in this video I'll show you how you can install and configure X-Ray in Jira software. So let's start. So in this specific video I want to show you uh, like the steps on the installation and the configuration of X-Ray test management uh, plugin for Jira. Uh, but I will not go in depth for, uh, for this uh, guide, I will just go on a basic level and show you like all the options that you have in order to for you to learn uh, more things about uh, this uh, X-Ray test management tool. And uh, right off the bat you can see here uh, that I'm on Atlassian market, Marketplace and I will be showing you how you can actually download this. But first, this is my uh, Jira environment and this is where uh, I will be installing uh, uh, and creating this specific project for uh, X-Ray test management. But first, before you, you go and install it on Jira, you need to download it on your local machine, right? So uh, you need to go in the Atlassian Marketplace and search for X-Ray test management for Jira. And here, uh, basically, you need to change on this specific environment that you have. So the ho hosting, uh, hosting uh, options are cloud server and data center. I'm using data center, so I'll go with data center and I'll just click here data center. So here we go in the versions because here are the versions that we can install. So uh, next step is to click on this see all uh, data center versions and we need to a bit to wait for uh, the page to uh, load all the versions and we can choose from the, those specific uh, versions we have like a nice list there so as you can see now it appears so here we have the the version that we need to install so we have here cloud if you want to install it on cloud you have for uh, data center or for server if you are still using a, a server but I need the one for data center. I already downloaded it uh, previously, so I don't need to download, but I will show you like the steps. So you need to click on this drop down here and it will be explained like when this was released. Uh, and uh, actually you have here some pictures with the new, uh, I don't know, bugs or features that uh, they have fixed or added. So here, here you have this download button. So you just click download and it will be downloaded to your uh, local machine. So after you download it locally, you need to go back into uh, into your uh, Jira environment and I'll be going back and here in this page, you need to go in the manage app section, either you use uh, the dot uh, shortcut and use manage apps here or you just choose manage apps here is the same thing. So now in the manage app section, we need to uh, click upload app here, you choose the file. And the file is, uh, I have it here on my, uh, in my documents here. So the X-Ray, it's uh, actually a .jar file. So you need to, uh, if you have like multiple uh, files that you, I don't know, other plugins that you install for Jira, make sure that this is X-Ray named and uh, it has .jar extension. But I don't need to, uh, to install it I, uh, as I already have it, but after you uh, choose the file from your uh, from your uh, machine, from your local machine, you need to click this upload uh, button and it will start uh, installing the application right away after you click the upload button. And a uh, new message will appear, so basically this will be extended, the X-Ray version. The next step that you need to do is to add a license for this uh, for this plugin as you uh, after you install it you don't have a license so basically this section here with where is the license key will be empty and we need to uh, add one so you go back to the test management uh, uh, tool for jira in marketplace so we click on this and it, it will go uh, back to the main page and here uh, we have this button trade free as you can uh, get free licenses uh, for your um, specific Jira environment and install it. So I will just click here, try it free uh, for data center and I will just click start free trial. I'll have my organization here, like the product that I need, you need to click, I have read and agree the term of use and you need to generate the license. So basically this is how you generate a license. So if, you, if your um, uh, redirect is not going exactly uh, like I did is because you don't you're not logging into the Atlassian account. So first of all, make sure that you log in with your Atlassian account. Then you can go in the uh, license section and you can actually uh, generate this uh, license. But after you generate it, you just copy this with Control C 
and you go in this license key section here and you just paste this code and just click update and you will have like 30 days uh, trial uh, license added to your product here so you can use with all the features available uh, and now we can go uh, in the other direction which is the configuration so i will explain just only the configuration how you can use uh, the x-ray features for your specific project so uh, right off the bat you can actually uh, create a project using those specific uh, issue types so what x-ray does it will uh, allow you to have multiple issue types based on uh, like this is a a test management plugin right so it will not add bug or requirements as uh, uh, issue types but what it, it does it actually creates test issue types for your project in order for you to for you to use this uh, test management uh, tool so it will create a test issue types issue type it will create a test execution a test plan a test set a sub test execution and uh, i think it's oh uh, yeah and the precondition so basically all these issue types have a connection, a dependency between them. This is like a special one, right? So you don't have like blocked by or something like this. They have like, they are connected uh, between them and they have like their own logic between. Uh, so basically a test plan has multiple test execution, which are run by a test and so on. So basically it has like a multi connection between these uh, issue types. And this is how this plugin works as a basic and uh, now I'll, I will just, I just want to show you like not a new project that you can create using the test, test uh, uh, the X-ray test features, but maybe you have like your own project and you want to add these issue types to that specific project to, uh, for you to have like, besides the development thing, you also have the test in the same project. So you have, you want to have these issue types. So uh, I will just, uh, use uh, this uh, basic software development uh, template and I'll just create like a simple project here let's say YouTube uh, with X-Ray so we have this project I'll just submit it and now I have this project here which it has the configuration uh, of a software development issue type scheme right so we have bug epic improvement new feature and so on but here you just want to add the features for uh, of X-Ray in your project. So let's say this, let's say that this is your project. So what you need to go, uh, what you need to do is to add those specific issue types to your issue type screen scheme, right? Not screen scheme, it's a scheme. So uh, I will just uh, uh, click on do on that uh, section of actions and go and edit uh, the the uh, issue type scheme, not screen scheme, it's a scheme. So here on the schemes, uh, you have all issue types that are available for your current scheme and you want to add all of the issue types that you want from X-Ray. So you have test, test set, test execution, precondition, test plan and subtest execution subtask, right? So uh, let's say that you want the test, the test plan, of course, you want the test execution and uh, let's say that you need uh, Pre, uh, the precondition let's say that you don't use the test set it's not mandatory for you to use it you can use like a simple uh, 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 issue types that you want so you can choose it from is from this list so after you dragged all the issue types uh, that you need from x-ray you can save um, this uh, sc uh, this scheme and now you can see that in the scheme you have all the issue types from x-ray not all but what you selected into your project and in this way as you can see here on the left side you also have the x-ray reports because your project contains issue types that are available from the x-ray uh, tool right so the x-ray tool creates some issue types if you add them to your project scheme uh, then you can see all the things with the reports and all the things that are added from the from the x-ray uh, uh, the x-ray plugin right so in this way you can install it and configure it and also you have like if you go in the manage apps you have multiple there are multiple configurations that you can do like you can uh, i don't know create other test sub statuses with other colors right like 
for you pass with green it's not green let's say you want to use i don't know blue right you can uh, uh change and uh, like you can create like additional uh name of the test status as you want it and also with your specific color here and you also have here like the issue type mapping this is also an important one because you have all the available issue types from your uh jira environment and also you can specify that okay this is the requirement issue types and these are defects issue types right so maybe if you want the bar the defect issue types is for bug right and the requirement issue types you don't want to add here but you actually have these options here like these check boxes where you want the epic and story relation to to be included as a requirement so you will have this uh, uh this direction of uh, epic and story as a requirement in this uh, in this tool here and now you can build up your pro your project using all the features from x-ray uh, but as i told you like in the beginning of this video i don't want to make it like super large uh, with a bunch of information in-depth information about x-ray i just wanted to show you how you can install it how you can add those features and those issue types to your project to that it's already created in uh, Jira. But in case you want to, uh, uh, let's say that you want to learn more things about uh, uh, X-Ray and you want to do like in-depth configuration, you have this option here. Uh, if this will be loaded uh, with X-Ray and now you have, so if you go in the manage apps section of X-Ray, you also have the documentation here. And if you click on the documentation link, it will go in their uh, page of uh, X-Ray documentation. You have a bunch of tutorials here, a bunch of explanations on how you can use it, how you can go in depth on the configuration of X-Ray. And this is super helpful. They have like super nice documentation. And by the way, they also have like great support uh, on their, uh, on their uh, plugin and you can, I don't know, uh, create uh, tickets on their uh, platform and uh, ask them for new features or you can create bugs there but actually that was it for uh, for this video uh, a simple uh, video on the installation and configuration of x-ray uh, i'll just uh, go and hope that you uh, enjoy this video and uh, if you find this uh, this information helpful just hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you want it will really be helpful and don't forget that i uh, also have other videos on my channel and also i have a bunch of uh, script uh, template scripts that i'm using with uh, script runner that i created there find you can find them on the on my git repository and i'll po just post all the links below this video and uh, yeah thank you very much for watching and uh, i see you next time peace